What's up guys, Barry here at Barrett's Music today, here with another request. Uh, this is uh, Smith & Myers as well, called Weight of It All. We're gonna learn it on piano as well as guitar. We'll do piano first. So here's it kind of charted out. This is what professional musicians do all the time. We take music and we try to break it down to its simplest of forms. So basically you have an A and a B section, or a verse and a chorus. The verse is E minor to C, the chorus is C to D. Really simple song, good for beginners. The bridge has this cool E minor C D thing, and then uh, the then it goes back to the chorus, and then it does it ends with the E minor C D thing. So that's basically an example of charting a song, and that's how musicians, especially session musicians, are able to record music so quickly because they have all the elements they need right in front of them uh, in a in a chart like aspect. So you start start with E minor chord E G B, okay, and it does this. And it goes to a C, E, G chord, and you can do the bass down here, fifth, obviously, or even lower, you can do octaves. So E minor to C. And it kind of just floats back and forth between those two chords. All right, uh, then you have this interesting section I, I didn't write down, but it's kind of like the bridge in between, the interlude in between the verse and the chorus where the bass, the cellos are going, E, F sharp, G, A, G, F sharp, C. E, F sharp, G, A, D, F sharp, C. Then you have the chorus, which goes from C. It's kind of higher. And you do eighth notes. So, one and two and three and four and D. Three and four and so C is C E G D is D F sharp A. All right. Now, if I didn't have to hold the camera, I'd be doing the other part down here as well. Typically, we do a fifth in the left hand and we do a full chord in the right hand. Uh, then you have the part that's kind of like a thematic part in the song, which goes E minor C D. Okay, and it's kind of lower. E minor, C, D. And that's pretty much the whole song. So guitar is the same thing. You can start with an E minor chord here. Open, two, two, open, open, open. And then again, E minor to C. So two, three, open, one, open. Strum, E minor. Strum C. So then when it gets to that interlude part, you do an E minor chord, open on the E, two, three, open on the A, three, two, and then C chord. Then when it gets to the chorus, you just play C. When you go to a D. All right, so open, open, two, three, two. Or you can do other ways. You can do bar chord for C. Three, five, 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 two, five, seven, seven, seven. If you want to do a different voicing. part goes E minor C D so this part's probably the coolest part so thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you on the next one hit me in the comments with another suggestion I, this is pretty much what this channel has turned into lesson requests. That's fine with me. Let's keep it going. Thanks for watching. See you later.